welcome welcome back to another video of guns and trails i'm in the middle of getting set up right now i'm kind of i kind of want to uh break the rules a little bit here at the range right before we do that make sure you comment like and subscribe because you already know we're on the way to a thousand likes and by the way the next video is going to be a little a little different a little interesting but for now getting bit by these bugs but for now um yeah we're gonna break some rules at the range obviously don't try this at home or don't try to set your local range because, well, I'm not really breaking rules. I'm kind of just doing what uh, we shouldn't do at the range. And that is to shoot slugs. Um, they recommend birdshot, but, you know, I bought some slugs and I kind of want to test it out. And seeing if, um, you know, how it shoots and if I can find a slug. If not, if not then this video is a fail. But we're going to try it out anyways. In the meantime, uh, I'm going to get myself warmed up. I bought the P, I bought the Walter P22. It's the little 22 right here. This is actually the first the first uh, gun that I've owned, and I did a I did a video on it. Um, actually, my first video. So make sure you you look at the uh, the video in the description down below. And I kind of like it. You know, I kind of like it. I've had some issues with I had some issues with it uh, due to the fact that I mean I wouldn't say it's the gun. I would say it's the ammo. Um, when I first got the gun, actually. My my intentions was to use it as an EDC. Obviously, if you guys know me, I don't carry a, a 22 for everyday carry. I did clean it, of course, and this is the Walter P22. This is actually uh, it's pretty affordable for a 22. I think I got it for oof like 350. Um, but I love it. It's a double action and single action. Bam! Oh, actually, bam! All right. Anyway, so. We're gonna shoot some rounds and let's get into it. And of course, for the shotgun, like I said, I'm gonna be shooting slugs, but uh, of course, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run some burst shot through it. I actually never shot a slug before, so this should be, this is exciting for me. I'm gonna shoot a couple and then kind of just like dip dip about it here so that I don't you know get in trouble. Um, but they, obviously they won't know what I'm shooting. But this, this of course the Dickinson Commando. I'm getting, I'm on I'm on my journey to looking for a new shotgun. A new shotgun. So uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna be shooting this. I never had an issue with this thing. I do have to clean it though because I you know we. In my, pre my previous videos, I've been shooting rounds through it, and I don't know, I haven't really cleaned it, so I gotta stop being dirty. And uh, I'll show you guys what am what uh, slugs I'm shooting. All right, so let's get into it. All right, so check this out. I'm gonna go up and set this up. Setting it up is kind of like a pain because people don't really clean up after themselves, I guess. They, they leave these things uh, on, so I just, I just reuse them. Oh, and just so you, and just so if you guys are wondering, the holster that I'm using for the P22 is um, the Alien Gear holster. These holsters, I, this holster is the, it's like the first gen. I don't really like it to be honest, but it is comfortable. But after a while, you you, you definitely sweat. And this is like this this part right here is kind of what what's a little irritating because it's hot as hell out right now, and I'm sweating. So. I mean, I, like I said, I don't have it as everyday carry, so I'm bearing with myself. See, putting it in there is also like a little pain too, because you can shove it in there. And here we go. Sorry, get a target. Mm-hmm. See, one of the issues. So when that happens, you sleepy just push one out, push one in. See, issues. I got trust issues with this gun. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. 
Okay. See, I, I kind of had a feeling this would happen, but that's what I get for running cheap ass shitty ammo through the through this gun. But the ammo that I'm using now is the Winchester, so these these are pretty decent actually for the gun. This gunpowder is me up right now. Oh, that shit is hot. It burns. All right, I'm gonna go refill it again. Got all this shit in my shirt. And one more thing about this type of ammo, the lead, what is it? The lead, lead ammo, they say is, it's actually more accurate than uh, like a golden tip ammo because a golden tip ammo if you notice if you have one actually it's, it's wiggly It wiggles like right at the top. This doesn't these don't That's why I like shooting them, but the thing with these is the little the little powder I guess you see it Like right there powder, you know It burns a little bit so I mean that's the only downfall but other than that I mean this this, this ammo is I like it So look, like I, like I usually do, every time, I, every time I'm done shooting in the, in the pistol section, I always come around like a little creep, and I look for uh, like fragments and bullets. I don't know why I love doing this shit. That's no good, really. Um, let me see if I can find. Let me see if I can find a good one. Hold up. Bam. Here we go. So this is a bullet. Crazy, right? But I want I want to find like a one that's mushroomed out, aka a hollow point. Uh, this is a full metal jacket. Full metal jacket. Come on, let's see if I can find one. What's this? Oh, that's a fragment. I don't know why I love I just love uh. Finding, ooh, somebody shooting! Ooh, somebody shooting shotgun here. Somebody in trouble. Somebody into oh there we go. See this one? This was a, this was a hollow point. It's all mushroomed out now. Dope. There we go. Hi right, y'all. So I got I got the slugs in here. I'll show you guys what kind they are. All right, so I got the fiochi and this is uh. 12 gauge, two and three fourths, one ounce slug. I can't say that too loud. Just gonna keep it on the deal. But what I'm gonna do is I actually have a target right there. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put one of my targets on there. It's just it, this is just like a a cardboard, like a like a board um, where you put your targets where you put your targets in front of it. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see how if if I can see how whole see how big the hole could be with a slug. All right, so check it. Peep peep game. One ounce slug. These things will put a hole in you. Kind of exciting, to be honest. There it goes. All right, so like I said, there's, there's there's not much weight to this thing, so that's why I didn't leave a hole. But that's where it left, though. So. 
To me, that's a pretty big asshole. Once, if this was, honestly, you guys, if this was a human, that probably would have expanded, like, probably the size of my whole hand. So, let's do some more. And I did find parts of the slug, which is pretty dope. Uh, of course, I can't find the rest because, like I said, this board is not, there's no weight to it, so it's going to travel somewhere right here, but. I'm I'm lucky to even find this. Crazy. Definitely gonna keep this though. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, All right, so I got the same amount of holes in, in that one. Change of plans. I got I got slugs, bird shot, and buck shot. So what I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just compare them and see. We're just gonna see how how it shoots in the, in the target. So uh, next I'm gonna shoot the buck shot. Uh, what that is is that's like uh, nine of the little beads, um, bigger than like the, the smaller ones, but uh, there's nine of them in the in the show. I'll see you guys there in a second. But. 12 gauge always oh, that man. I'm gonna tell you right now, if you guys are new to shooting if, if you guys are new to shooting shotguns, do not start off with a 12 gauge. That that shit will dislocate and dismantle and make you bleed in your shoulder. Not really though, but you know, you get the point. So yeah, when I first became a member of this range, uh, they told me to not shoot any uh, any shells, I mean any any uh slugs. To just do buckshot, but you can't say they can't tell me what to do, you know what I'm saying? So no, I'm just kidding, actually uh this is just for video so they won't know, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to keep it on a down low. Also, I'm, I don't think I'm allowed to shoot buckshot, but this is just for video, you know, so. Bam. So, like I said, there's nine little shells. Let me compare them, actually. Hold on one second. So here I got the um, birdshot, buckshot, slug. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Guys, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe again. We are on the way to 1,000 subscribers. So make sure you go ahead and do so. Hit the bell notification. Bam, so you don't miss another video. I made a mistake, peeps. I said... If there was nine, oh man, my shoulder's not feeling it right now. I said there's nine, nine little, uh, nine shells. There isn't, actually, there's more than nine shells. Hold up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So there's about, I don't know, like 30, maybe. Um, yeah, so you can tell by, when I, when I shoot the, uh, the buck shot, no, the bird shot, you're gonna see, the holes are smaller than, than these. Man, people rag on this on this shotgun, man. This 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 is I didn't have any issue with it. I mean I, I gotta clean it afterwards, but yeah. Shoots like brand new. You heard? Shooting like brand new. Let's go boy. Come follow me if you're gonna see the damage that we did. See, like I said, a little smaller than these ones. So look, it goes buckshot, obviously slugs, right? And then you got birdshot. <laughs> so obviously shotguns are nothing to play with. Even if you're doing videos, you still want to keep safe. Now, check it. I'm going to use the birdshot for this example. They say they say shotguns are are good for close range weapons, right? Cool. We obviously know that because I was about five, maybe ten yards away. What I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna shoot it for like 15, 20 yards away, maybe, and see how uh, how accurate and what what the shot group is that that board can withstand when it comes to bird shot. Oh, 
Uh, we got a little problem, guys. It got died. It got died. It's dead. Done. I don't. I'm not surprised, honestly, guys. Man, like, we know shotguns do damage, but like I said, these. So there's just the. Put this in group. Birdshot, buckshot, slug. So if you don't know by now, obviously slugs are, are going to do the worst damage to a person or to any living creature. Then you got your buckshot, which is, in my opinion, uh, perfect for self-defense. Per no, perfect for uh, home defense. And then you have your birdshot, which is, you know, like target practice. Um, but you can still use it for, you know, home defense if you choose. But, guys, I'm telling you, just use your, um, use your buckshot as home defense. Target practice, you're going to want to use uh, birdshot because it is cheaper too, by the way. And then slugs are just for your your uh, your choosing, home defense, um, you know, whatever. But I'm trying to find the slug right now, so bear with me. And let's see if we, let's see if I can find it, which I doubt because there's so much shit right here. Uh, slug, please answer me. Bro, why am I hearing shit? And like, what is in there? A bear or something? All right, so that's it for the video. In closing, guys, um, I want to tell you guys this. I am reaching, uh, we got about 100 subscribers, to be honest, guys, which, in my opinion, I like, I'm, I'm, I'm good with that. But, of course, we're trying to elevate and to get to 1,000 um, 1, subscribers. So, so this, I kind of, like I said before, like, I, I want to grow this channel, but I need you guys' help to do that. Right, I can make my videos and do my part, but your part is to, you know, comment, like, share, subscribe, uh, turn on the bell notification, like I said, so you don't miss another video. And you know, I'm, I'm thinking of more content to do. My next video uh, is gonna be it's gonna be <laughs> pretty entertaining um, if if all goes well. So it's I'm, I'm still I'm waiting to do this video for like you know a month. Um, and I've been masterminding some things. So, anyways, as you can see, I gotta pack up all this shit and. You know, enjoy the rest of my day as you should too. Enjoy the rest of your day. It's summertime, guys. Go out and do something. Go on a vacation, right? Uh, go, go to the range, buy a gun, uh, buy some ammo. There is a shortage in ammo, so make sure when you buy it, buy it in bulk. Don't do the mistake that I did and just buy it, buy one box and then go, you know, and go back, you know, a few days later, and then everything is just gone. So, anyways, and this is gonna trust. I'm Jimmy signing out. Peace. Thank you.